Hello everyone, welcome back to Gitroy Tips and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix WWE 2K24 is having slow motion, slow motion issue or it is having slow mo and many users end up in having this issue and how we can solve this up. So the first one is all about <coughs> Sorry, the first one is all about we have to make few changes in the game that is we have to turn off the VSync and we have to make few changes in the refresh rate so I'll be showing you what we have to do. So just go over here in the game. So I'll be reducing the voice in order to avoid the copyright. So just get into the game, click on the play button. Now from here, once you hit on the play button, just go over here in the S. And we just need to wait because the game has to get completely loaded up. I'll be showing you what you have to do afterwards. It is going to take a little bit of time because the game has to get completely loaded on and once done with this one we just need to I'll be showing you what you have to do so just press any button so uh, you know once afterwards you'll be getting a greeting like this let me skip the intro and we have to go over here now I'll be showing you what you have to do so the first one is all about we just need to just go over here so once afterwards just press okay now we just need to okay go over here so we just need to go over here in the options at the top so just go over here in the options so just click on the option first now from here just click on the option now from here from the option just navigate to the extras now from here go to the graphics settings now from here as you can see the first one as you can see the vsync is actually turn it on we have to turn this off the vsync should be turned off this is the first step what we need to do next one is all about we have to go to the action camera fps so we have to set the action camera the fps should be done around you know what you have to say is around you can set this to 60 or you can do this according to your configuration and as you can see the refresh rate i'm not able to change the refresh rate because the refresh rate should be either to 60 hertz or it should be 120 hertz but i'm not able to change it so make sure that the vsync is turned off and also you lock the fps at 60 or 30 according to configuration and once afterwards just save everything and you have to save everything and afterwards i'll be showing you what you have to do so once afterwards in order to move to the next step we just need to close the game so i'll be closing the game right now so once the game has been done, the first step is done, we just close the game and afterwards we have to move to the next one. Next one is all about we have to set the windows display to 60 hertz. So just go over here, go over here in the search and navigate to the settings. Now from here we have to go to the system, go to the display over here. Now from here we just need to go over here and the first one is all about we have to do is we just need to set the windows, this one to the display resolution should be. Uh, 60 hertz so you just need to do this up so uh, I'll be showing you what you have to do so over here in the display so to go to the advanced display and from here as you can see this should be 60 hertz not more set this to 60 hertz and once after it's been done you set this to 16 hertz you're fine with it just close everything and we have to go back and try launch the game still if you're having the trouble you need to update the graphics card so I'll be providing a link in the description to both Nvidia as to the AMD the NVIDIA users has to go over here, select everything like your product type, product series, product operating system should be Windows 11. Everything should be selected from here and we have to go for a start search. Now from here once you go for the start search, you just need to go over here and the driver version is 551.76 which is the driver version. Download this one, install, restart is mandatory and try launch the game. If you are on the AMD just go over here, select every details and we have to go over here in the submit. And from here, if you're on the Windows 11, download this one. And if you're on the Windows 10, download this one and install. A restart is a mandatory and try launch the game. Also, you can uh, make one change over here in the game, which is turning off timer game update in the configuration file. Just go over here in the file explorer, navigate to the documents and over here you'll be able to find the folder for WWE 2K24. Just open this particular folder. So not this particular file. So when you open this, you can see this one, the first one, timer game update. This is actually turn it on. So just turn this off. We have to turn this off. Once you turn this off, you have to change this from turning on to turn this off. 
just save everything close everything and you can try and also try if it is not working you can also try changing the uh, you know renaming the file configuration file go to the documents just go over here so it is config so just go over here and change this to rename and you can add something else over here config.abc etc can be done and once afterwards try still if the issue is there you can also try you know uh, doing this that is you need to make sure the windows uh, what you have to say is you just need to make sure you know the native resolution should be checked so just go over here in the settings and go to the system now go to the display and from here we have to go over here and the display resolution should be in the this one by default if any one of the things you can set this to default one once afterwards just go back and try launching the game next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to try updating the windows which you have to cross check it just go over here in the settings and go to the windows update make sure the windows is up to date and also still if you are having the trouble we can also try updating the graphics card not in the sense we have to verify integrity of game file just go over in the game right click and go to the properties go for install it file and just click on the verify integrity of game file so this will cross check every single files of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this and this is how we can do this app and these are the possible workarounds can be done and i hope this video is helpful so just wait this reach 100 percentage and i'll be showing you what we have to do next so once it has been done just close everything and try launch the game and that will be working fine and these possible workarounds can be done i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out bye 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 bye